good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be having a look at some Pokemon trading card game news. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a couple of little news stories come out over the past couple of weeks that we need to have a little bit of a chat about. So I thought, you know what? Let's have a little bit of a chat about it right now. So, first of all, we're just doing a rounds on various platforms. It seems like somebody, a distributor, seems like in Mexico, though no official confirmation, has been leaking rewards. And but these rewards, they are basically the um well, the next set of rewards, so to speak. So we know what we're getting for a whole bunch of different things. So, firstly, we got the Pokemon League rewards, which is going to be Field Blower, Enhanced Hammer, and Max Potion. League Challenge is going to get Ace Roller. And League Cup is going to get Ultra Ball. Now, these are all alternate art cards. They're cards that we've had for a while. But, and wait for it, this might shock you. They are alternate art. But these are really, really good. If we start off with the Pokemon League promos, these are the ones you get for attending your league going down every week. They're just given out for free. We've got Field Blower. Now, Field Blower is an absolutely essential card in a whole bunch of decks. It gets to remove a tool or a stadium. Use it to remove stuff like Choice Band and stadiums like Shrine of Punishment, which puts one damage counter on each EX and GX between turns. Getting rid of it can be huge. Now, we won't get rid of these stadiums like Thunder Mountain, for argument's sake, but it will absolutely get rid of any other stadium that isn't a Prism Star. So this is really good. Max Potion is an absolutely vital card in a whole bunch of decks. It heals all damage off you while also removing all energy, but if you play something like Magikarp and Whale Lord as a stall deck, essentially you're never going to attack, you're never going to put much energy on there, so you can just roll with it anyway. Or you've got something like the new Charizard that you discard all your energy when you attack, so it really doesn't matter if you then max potion at the beginning of your next turn when you've got no energy attached. This has been an absolutely crucial card in a whole bunch of decks throughout the years, and it's going to remain so as we go forward. And then we've got Enhanced Hammer. Enhanced Hammer just discards a special energy attached to a Pokemon. And when we've had Zoroark rule in the format for so long with double colorless energy, and then we've got these Prism Star energies like B-String, great in decks like Boswell and Blacephalon. And then we've got things like Super Boost Energy, which are being played in a whole bunch of these weird stage 2 decks using stuff like Swampert. We're starting to look at a really powerful card that is a one or two of in a whole bunch of decks out there and can really make the difference in a whole bunch of matchups between a win and a loss. So, yeah, these are a really good trio of cards. And then, of course, if we head over to League Challenge, we've got Ace Roller. Now, I do have a better image of the alternate R Ace Roller. Shout out to the lovely Primal Lugia, who admittedly this was a little bit of a mock-up they did, but come on, it, it, it's pretty gosh darn good. <laughs> and it's an alternate R. I mean, they, they got this alternate R in Japan recently, so we all kind of knew it was coming. But Ace Roller's a phenomenal phenomenal card lets you pick up one of your pokemon and all cards attached to it in the age of tag team gx's you can expect to see these so much playing ace roller i mean something like pikachu and zekrom 240 hp and it gives up free prizes well if you've got 240 hp and you're giving up free prizes why would you not want to play ace roller to try and heal here i mean it seems like a no-brainer so having an alternate art is good in terms of the League Challenge, I mean, look, it's Ultra Ball. And Ultra Ball is a four of in almost every deck at this stage. It's pretty much a given that every deck's going to be playing four Ultra Ball. The thing is, Ultra Ball's been printed like a bazillion times. So it's nice to have the alternate art version, and I do enjoy the artwork very much indeed. I am, however, somewhat sceptical as to whether we, we need these. Because, well, come on. I mean... It's Ultra Ball. People probably already have them. But if we look at the wider implications here, this is redonk, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely crazy, over-the-top, 
Redonk. Because what we have here is five playable cards. If you look at the top decks in any tournament, you can expect to see all five of these cards very well represented. And what this really shows is that Pokemon are making a real effort to give us really good playable cards. I mean, we had Naganadal as one of these promos not too long ago. I believe we had Beast Ring fairly recently. I went to a tournament fairly recently, and I ended up being given Jumpluff promos and Electro Power promos. Jumpluff, you know, it's part of this Lost March deck, which along with stuff like Skip Loom and Trumbeak, has formed the, this Lost March deck, which is legitimately one of the best decks in the entire format. And then, of course, Electro Power just adds 30 damage to attacks from Lightning Pokemon. I've already mentioned how good Pikachu and Zekrom is. And when you add in other tricks like the Tapu Koko Prism Star and Thunder Mountain, Lightning decks are really, really good at the moment. And Electro Power is just one reason for it. Not to mention that we actually got Electro Charger just in our most recent set team up, which lets you recover them. I mean, Electro Charge is a great card. It lets you flip two coins, and for each head, you shuffle an Electro Power from your discard pile into your deck. So that's going to help you out quite a lot here. And we're left with just really, really positive impressions, at least I am, of the effort to which Pokemon is going to say, look, if you're going to go to League, if you're going to go to League Cups, if you're going to go to League Challenges, I'm going to make sure that you, or we're going to make sure, that we are going to give you everything that you need. And okay, it might not be everything that you need, but my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it is giving you an awful lot of good playable cards. Now, we also have a bit of a mystery involving Moltres going on. Again, the lovely Primal Lugia has been keeping me updated on this, and there is a Moltres promo doing the rounds. It is the Moltres from... Team up, and it's a card that I like very much indeed. What's really fun is that it's actually got the same first attack as the Moltres from Fossil, which was the very first Moltres ever released. You discard all the fire energy attached to it, and then discard that many cards to the top of your opponent's deck. And I did actually do a video about mill decks recently, where I actually showed you a deck involving Tickling Machine, still love that name, and the Moltres. I'll pop a link to that one in the description so you can check it out. So this Moltres is fairly good for that attack. It's a really nice kind of Hail Mary attack. Just kind of pop a couple energy on Moltres as you can throughout the game. Wait till your opponent's got a couple cards left in their deck and literally deck them out. But also, 180 damage for 4 energy, discarding 3 of them. I mean, it's 180 damage flat on a single prize non-GX. Yeah, it's got 120 HP and it's fairly flimsy. And yeah, it's 4 energy and you've got to discard 3 of them. Although, as I've mentioned a few times, it's a fire Pokemon. That's what they tend to do and there's a version of it going around with the stamp of team up the thing is it's not coming out in the uk it's kind of popping up all over the place so it has actually popped up in france and the rumors i'm hearing are that it is showing up in stores like toys r us over in france again if you live there and you got more information please do feel free to chuck it down in the comment section Similarly, it is appearing in Game Mania in the Netherlands when you spend 10 euro or more on Pokemon trading cards. That was tweeted out by the Game Mania Twitter account, which I think means it's probably fairly reliable. And it's also turned up in Spain as well. And that was actually tweeted out by the official Spanish Twitter of Pokemon. I believe it's official. If it's not, I will, I will tell you on here. Yes, it is. It is, because it's been on the official website. The thing is, generally speaking, cards like this in the UK, now that Toys R Us has gone away, they would generally turn up in Waterstones, along with a mini collector's album. And Poketage over on Twitter has been over and picked up the mini collector's album and hasn't been able to pick up this Moltres promo. So I don't know exactly what's going on. I can confirm there is a Moltres promo out there. And I can confirm that it's in Game Media in the Netherlands. And it's definitely appearing in Spain. 
and it's probably appearing in places like Toys R Us in France. But as of now, it's not showing up in England. Of course, what is very interesting is because they don't make Dutch language cards, in the Netherlands it is just an English version. So someone's printing English versions. Again, I've not heard anything about this being given out in the US. If I hear an update on this, I will, of course, let you lovely ladies and gentlemen know. So it's a bit of a mystery, and it's kind of coming up hodgepodge, but, you know, Moltres promo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, lots of cool promos, lots of fun times. I am an excited boy. But I've also reached the end of this video. So this is a point where you tell me what you think about these. Have you come across this Moltres? Do you want this Moltres? Are you excited about this Moltres? And of course, what do you think about these promo cards? Are you giving Pokemon the props they deserve? Go nuts in the comment section. But please do remember the most important rule as always. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy for a bit of a chat. Or Twitch at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio for some live action. Oh yeah, and do make sure that you are checking out youtube.com slash Wossy Place for some other games, and patreon.com slash PTCG Radio if you want to support the channel and get some bonus pods. A new one went up just yesterday. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.